Okay, friends, so this week in math, we've been talking a lot about weight. What is weight? Yep, it's exactly that. It's how heavy or light something is. When something is heavy, it's a little bit harder to hold. It takes more muscles. When something is light, it's a lot easier to hold. And you can maybe hold it with one hand instead of having to use all your strength. Now, one thing that we can use to measure weight is a scale. This is called a scale. Sorry, that was not a good noise. <laughs> that hurt my ears. This is called a scale. Can you say scale? Perfect. This scale is going to compare two objects. What I mean is, is we're gonna put one object over here and another over here and see which one is heavier. Now, if an object is heavier, it will push it down, look. My hand is heavier than nothing, so it pushes it down. It's holding it down closer to the ground. This side is lighter. There's nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some objects that I gathered around the classroom. We're going to take predictions and decide which one is heavier and which one is lighter. So look here. I took these two objects from our block center here at school. I have a wood block and I have an action figure who's a farmer. How cool is that? And he's holding a pig. Now, which one do you think will be heavier? Which one do you think will weigh more? The block or the action figure? All right, that's a good prediction. I don't know which one is going to be heavier, so we're going to find out. I'm gonna put these both in at the same time and I'm gonna let go and we're gonna see which one's heavier. Ready? Whoa, whoopsies. All right, well, look at that. Which one was heavier, the farmer or the wood block? Yeah, that wood block is heavy. It pushed this bucket all the way to the ground. So the wood block is heavier than the farmer. So the farmer is lighter than the wood block. Good job. Let's do some more objects, okay? Let me try to make it even. Okay, here's our next one. I have do, 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 a pencil and a cute little puppy dog that we take care of here at school. Which of these objects do you think will be lighter? Listen again, which one do you think will be lighter? That's a really good prediction. Let's see. I'm gonna put them both in the thing and put it in there. Oh my goodness, look at that puppy dog. Which one is lighter? Yeah, the pencil is lighter than the puppy dog. How do you know which one is lighter? Do you need a set? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 you're fine. His folder's right there and then he can grab his backpack. All right. Yep, the pencil is lighter. It came up. The dog is heavier than the pencil because it is down. It came down farther. It's weighing more. All right, let's do one more. Here's our next one. We have the sanitizer and a water bottle. Hmm, and they're both pretty full. Which one do you think will be heavier? That's a good prediction. Let's find out. I'm gonna put them both in the buckets and we're gonna see. Okay, ready? Three, two, which one's gonna be heavier? Oh, why? Which one is heavier? The water bottle. Yep, the water bottle is heavier than the sanitizer. How do you know that it's heavier? Yep, because it holds it down. It brought it more down more. It weighs more. It's heavier than the sanitizer. So the sanitizer is lighter than the water bottle. Awesome job. Now, if you have one of these scales at home, you can totally practice with some more objects. If you don't, I completely understand that's okay. There's another video that's going to be posted below, and it's Blippi showing us some more ways that we can compare using the scale, okay? You can watch it, or you don't have to. It's completely optional and up to you, all right? Thanks for joining.